Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to welcome you to the World Series of Fighting 10. We are live back home at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. And we would like to welcome those that are streaming live at WSOF.com. Right now, this fight is scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Lightweight Division. And now, introducing, fighting out of the blue corner of the Decacon. His record, impressive, five victories, one defeat. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, and weighed in at an even 156 pounds. He fights out of Las Vegas, Nevada, introducing Justin James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. His record is perfect. Three victories, no defeats, standing five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155.4 pounds. He too fights out of Las Vegas, presenting Jimmy Spicuza. You're not, your time to shine. Your referee for this fight is Chris Tayoni. So we're underway here in the lightweight division. Justin Jaynes in the blue trunks, Jimmy Spacuza in the black trunks. Both light on the feet. Feet, that's a good thing. These guys look like they almost have almost the identical build, boss. They're both a little shorter, a little stocky, but thick, well cut. Spacuza has to watch out with the single kicks. I always mention it many times. You can grab the kick. Now, a kick to the body, uh, that could be counted easier to the legs, a single kick, than a kick, of course, to the head. Because if it's a hit, <laughs> right. or, or you have to block it, and then you can counter. To the body, sometimes, if there's no power, you can counter right away. Spakusa coming with a combination with Boss Rutten always likes. If you're going to come in, you might as well get two if you can get one. That's it. One is good, two is better. Except for my wife, though. <laughs> So here in the lightweight division, quick starters usually. This one's scheduled for three rounds, five minute rounds here at the World Series of Fighting. Nice move there, short left hook by JJ. I call him JJ because it's James. Justin James. I thought you were just tight with him. Yeah. That's how you roll. I don't know. Spiskuza is really good at just staying outside yeah. the reach of his opponent. Every time he moves forward, he's just outside. So Spiskuza right now working in the black trunks to the right of your screen. Justin James comes forward with some serious power. He's got some heavy hands. Yeah, both these guys actually. This was nice there that uh, Spiskuza kept his right kept his right hand up because that left hook from James was almost connected. Ooh, Ooh. Caught him with the left. Nice exchange there. You see, as soon as Spiskuza planted his feet, he got nailed. So we'll probably go back to his old game plan. Movement, in and out. Well, James is the college wrestler with the background from grappling, but he looks more comfortable standing and throwing punches. Spakuza now coming in with some nice combinations. Nice exchange there. A little bit of blood coming from the right corner of the eye for Jimmy Spakuza. Yeah, that's probably the left hook yep. that he uh, lost to throw, James. Jace. Wow, nice combination there by Spakuza. Take down attempt by Justin James. Yeah, because he planted his feet. He's been taken down now. But can he keep it on the ground? Careful, careful. Referee warning down with that elbow. You know, could have been gone to the back of the head, which is, of course, illegal. Some strikes here. Spikusa is getting back up. Nice there, him almost. Coming up on two minutes to go, and this one's scheduled for three rounds here from Las Vegas. It is Justin James with the first takedown of the bout, and Jimmy Spakusa now up against the cage, and a beautiful sprawl by Spakusa. Great wow. defense. Nice there, the Kimura escape. I love that escape. You know, you might, if you get lucky, also catch him in a Kimura, or even a straight armor if they stretch it. Some great power here by Spikuza. Punching power on the ground. Oh, 
beautiful work here by his opponent, James. Boy, Justin James is no joke in the strength department, is he? Yeah. Get your head in the space. Very powerful. He should time those knees a little bit better because they can do real damage. Right now, it's very hard to flex your thighs for Spikusa. So if you start kneeing that leg, it's going to be very effective. Stay busy. Spikusa there, going in between the legs, hold him, prevent him from being taken down. Less than a minute to go here in round number one. Some nice elbows here to the kidney area, and he's got some serious power. Oh, I love that. Pushing the head down, pulling the leg out, and he's on top. As One of late, the fight has turned in favor of Jimmy Spakuzu, who takes a dominant position right oh, now. But at this it. point, he might be under there. We can't tell from this angle. Has to give it up. Yep. So now it's Justin James holding on for the last 25 seconds. A couple of mouthpiece went out. Yep, a mouthpiece went out from James, I believe. Another rear naked choke. Is he underneath there? No, he's not. He's on the jaw still. Dropping the chin, but spins into it. He's very smart here, worked by James. Rolling into the choke. Wow, you can hear the impact on his strikes. So round number one ends with Justin James in the defensive position. Boz, you'd have to say he was more dominant fighter, maybe for the first two thirds of that fight, but Jimmy Spakuza really came on strong at the end. Yeah, he flipped it around. Here we go. You see, once you start committing to your strikes, you're planting your feet, and that's why James was able to take him down. Very hard for him to keep him down, though, because I because had some nice takedown defense. Look at this beautiful escape here. That's that figure four escape. Nice. We saw that Sakuraba doing on Enzo Gracie and actually wrapped up the fight like that at the Pride Fighting Championships. So a cut on the right corner of the eye of Jimmy Spakuza, but the last 45 to 50 seconds certainly belong to the young man from right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Spakuza looking for his second win here in the World Series of Fighting and Justin James. Strong young man had a great first 60% of that round. Time! Need a towel! Need a towel! Towel! Both guys look really fresh. There's a little water there on the ground. And that's not thrown in the towel for the Spakuza side. That was, no, that will be that something. Was, that was called. <laughs> here we go. Second round. Chris Tyler did a great job of making sure the canvas is dry and clean. So here we go, round number two in the lightweight division, World Series of Fighting 10. Jimmy Spakuza in the black trunks goes right towards Justin James, and he gets his first takedown of the fight. That was a very smart move. You know, I don't think James expected that. You know, right away come forward, and boom, got the takedown. He's got a pass here, though. See if he can pull that left leg out. That would be great, but it's going to be hard, since James have to, has him wrapped up. And look how smart he does that. Goes over the top yep. there and grabs the inside of his, his knee. You know, and that's, it's very hard to escape like this. Jimmy Spakusa now in a very strong position. He's got one leg in, almost a side control here, and he's got the cage working his advantage busy, for guys. James unable to escape. He can't pull out, though. He needs to pull that left leg out and move to side mount, and then he can break that grip. Well, or do it like this. Would have been more powerful once he pulls his leg out. He probably wants to sit in there in half guard and go for a ground and pound. Maybe you're looking for a side choke, I see now. Let me see, he's going to pass that right arm. Yeah, he's, he's punching, but he's also looking for that side choke. There we go. Oh, no, he passed it. Oh, maybe now. Fishing for an arm is Justin James, trying to get some offense here from his back. James is good, de good defense here. Holds him at the correct times. Just when he's about to strike, pulls him back in. And what uh, Spikusa needs to do is needs to push himself away, create some space so he can start striking. Then again, if he does that, James might go to a full guard or escape. You see, there we go. He's gonna sit up. Nice hand there. The, the left hand from Spikusa was preventing James from standing up. That's very tricky. 
the corner of Justin James employing their fighter to get to his feet, missing an opportunity there, possibly. Yeah, he's looking for the rear naked choke again. Still not underneath the jaw. And if he really wants to pull it off, he needs the other hook in as well. Well, you're going to find out just how in shape Justin James is because you think the last minute of the first round, he was completely on the defensive. And here he is in round number two for the first two minutes, completely on the defensive again, expelling a lot of energy. Yeah, and this is what you mean with grinding. Yeah. You see, now he's grinding his opponent nonstop beyond there, attacking him with soft punches here and there, and then probably looking for a big knockout blow if he has the chance. Less than two and a half to go, and this one's scheduled for three rounds. It's Bakuza in the black trunks right now, pretty much imposing his will on Justin James, who cannot, cannot seem to find his way off the canvas right now. And he has an open guard also. Now he grabs his foot there, trying to lock it in a little bit, but still, Stay busy, if Spikuza wants, he can simply escape. Boss, if you're Jimmy Spikuza's corner, do you tell your fighter to posture up, possibly, and start raining down, or just break this I thing? would do it. Right now, he needs to cross face at least, you know, otherwise he can't break that grip. And, uh, you know, pa pass. I would push your hips forward, pass the legs, go to side mount. Referee Chris Dione stands him up, and this has got to be great news for Justin James. He's not having a lot of success on the ground. Man, and he popped up like Jack in the yeah, Box. He Boom! And he wants to go right away. Look at that. He's attacking. What you oh, do now is they trade leather in the center of the cage. Wow! Oh, what a nice flurry! Knee there in the, in the middle. And might have rocked him. Yes, yep. he's rocked. Justin he's James is in trouble, guy. holding on for dear life now with Spakuza. Jimmy Spakuza going to work. You see, and now you simply need to get back up. That would be a smart thing to do because he's digging his head in between there his legs, so he can't, he can't strike him. Watch the top of the head. Watch the top of the head. He needs to push himself away, get back on his feet, and hopefully he's still dazed. Spakuza now takes the back with less than a minute to go here in round number two. It's because there's a lot of blood on his head. I yeah. don't know from who it is. Maybe it is from James. Oh, boy. Rear naked. Big problem now for Justin James. Yeah, but is it underneath the jaw? I don't think it was, but I can't tell from this angle. Can Justin James go. hold on for the last 35 seconds? I think the only benefit in Justin James right now is Jimmy Spakuza has almost punched himself out. He had a huge flurry of action there for about a minute and a half, and he's gassed. Tased him with that really short flying knee yep. or jumping knee, what it was, and it was right on the button. You see, but this is a very hard call. What do you do? You know, when it goes to the ground, do you want to follow him up, or you step back up to your feet and let him get back on his feet. So round two goes in the books. Justin James holds on. Jimmy Spakuza certainly dominant there in round number two, but it's Spakuza that's got the blood coming from that eye yet again. All right, boss, take us into the corners. Let's look at this one more time, what Justin James did well and what Jimmy Spakuza did well. Here's that knee. Oh, no. It, 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 was, it was just Almost like the Before follow through that, Now he throws him down. Yeah, it was the, 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 the one knee that shocked him just came before that big flying knee. In, the, in, we were, in this exchange, punching exchange. While we were looking at those replays, the doctor had been called into Let's the corner see if of Justin James. Out. Watch here. One, two, and now a knee pops in really fast. Oh, there that you seat, go. That was beautifully, nicely mixed up at strikes. Fucking hell, let's go for Ben, baby. Come on. Five minutes. So Justin James cleared by the doctor, fired up for the last five minutes. I'll tell you, boss, if he comes back, James, and gets the win here, that will be huge because he has been on the defensive for pretty much 75% of these two rounds. Yes, but, you know, maybe he's the one in, in better shape now. Both these guys look very fresh right now. Yeah, they do. And right away, he starts coming forward again. He's got to watch out with those jumping knees. You think his corner told him he's got to win this round? Oh, decisively. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he really needs to. Because the first round was finished, wrapped up by Spikuza. Correct. Powerful. And that's always in the minds of the judges. The second one, he dazed him. So that's for Spikuza. He needs to win. Preferably, he needs to stop this fight. He's looking for a guilty, but he can't wrap his legs around it. And a beautiful escape to the opposite side of where the head is caught by Spikuza. That's the way to do it. 
Look at the team alpha male guys, they're really good with yep. guillotine chokes and guillotine choke defenses do it exactly like that. And uh, an unfortunate thing about that, the only way you learn how to escape those kind of things is you put yourself in that situation, which is which is not ever fun to go to the gym and get put in 25 <laughs> guillotines for the afternoon. Yeah, well, you know, now you're very happy you right. did. Calmly, Jimmy Spacusa gets out of that situation, which could have ended this fight here in the third and final round of this lightweight bout between Jimmy Spacusa in the black trunks and Justin James in the blue trunks. And again, he's grinding, is on top of him, but he needs to start throwing some power strikes. Nicely done here by James, putting him in the guard, but it's still an open guard. So yep. if you put somebody in the guard, you would think at least you close, close it. Yep. There it is. There we go. Keep working, guys. I'll yes, tell you what, again. Jimmy Spacuza has been impressive. And I, I think he polishes up a couple little areas, maybe his striking or his ground. He's going to be a busy. very strong contender for a belt here in the World Series of Fighting. Yeah, very powerful individual. Both these guys, actually, and, and green stamina Stop. also. He's still fighting hard. You see there? This is what James did on purpose. Tied him up really tight, and he knew that if, that, if he would on for like 15 seconds, the referee would put him back on the feet. Chris Tyone, our referee, making sure the action Whoa. continues. And this is a great flurry. Remember, folks, this is the third and final round. Wow, that big left hook. If he can land it one time clean, James, I'm talking about. That could be a problem. James concerned about those flying knees that he got tagged with in round number two from Jimmy Spacuza. But Spacuza's coming. It's a slugfest here. Both these guys getting tired now, which is very understandable. Yeah. Double leg takedown. He kind of gave that. Yeah. James did. He he's saw just gassed. He's, he's completely yeah, he's gassed. gassed. And boss, as a coach, you get your students in the gym. These are learning experiences. What are you going to do when you're at 90% threshold and you're pretty much gassed out? Well, that's the thing, you know. You, you look at this fight, you say, I never want to be in that same position again. And uh, going to run some more hill, hill sprints. That's the trick. You know, just get really, really tired every day if you work out, and it will be okay. But being able to still operate and do what you need to do when you Stay are busy, guys. pretty much Stay at 90% busy. of what you can do and fight your way through it, it's, it's a talent. It's something you got really to prepare to do. Yep. Well, you know, there's tricks for it. You can, for instance, we do this a lot of times. We let one person kick for one minute as hard as you can. Every kick has to be just to kill the person, and then right away, two minutes of grappling. And then you do that 10 rounds, 10 times. Uh -huh. So every time he gets more and more tired from those kicks, and the other one can rest in between. So he can put the pressure on again. So now that's is the one that's shown his oh. of gas, and for a moment it looked like James had a very positive situation, but Spacuza takes the back again. Yeah, his body control positioning was really good there. You know the way he moved out of there from Spacuza I'm talking about. That was some great wrestling, great grappling. You see that in those situations, a good wrestler, I always say wrestling is always one of the three components. You need to be either a really good wrestler and striker or a good submission guy and a wrestler. But wrestling is always the biggest part for mixed martial arts. James trying to keep himself flat as we come up with the final 45 seconds. Spins into it right into Jimmy Spacuza, Spacuza who's at a full mount. And, and again, what he did, you know, he didn't lose control, you know, yeah. position above submission. You know, let uh, James spin inside his leg so he kept top, top control, still the same thing as he's doing right now. Still looking for that rear naked, see if he can flip it underneath there, but James is just really good at defending it. Final 10 seconds here in the third and final round of this lightweight bout. Jimmy Spacuza putting the final touches on this one with Justin James. Again going for the rear naked. Oh, come, come. Good job, guys. Up easy, up easy, up easy. So this one will go to the judges. Jimmy Spacuza and Justin James go the full distance in the lightweight division here in Las Vegas. So at the end of three rounds, it goes to the judges. Jazz Secura is inside the cage with the official word. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting, we send it to the judges, and all three of them score at 20.
30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Jimmy Spicuza. So Jimmy Spicuza out of Las Nothing Vegas, fun. Nevada runs his record to a perfect four and zero. Oh. JSP, and I guarantee he's going to want to have a talk with Ali Abdelaziz and Ray Seppo and say, fellas, what do you got next for me? I want to go to the main guard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look at this record, 4-0 right now. He's doing an unbelievable job. He's yep. got stamina, he's got great technique. I mean, that knee was perfectly timed in his punch combinations. I think this guy can go really far. Take a look at the highlights from three rounds of excitement here inside the joint of Las Vegas, Nevada. Spacuza in the black, James in the blue, and early on, boy, Spacuza really has speed in his hands. Yep, and James had that beautiful takedown here at the ground control. We don't have it here. Round two, this was very smart. He started off right away throwing strikes and going for a takedown himself. That beautiful knee landed there, made him dizzy. Round and pound, and round three the same thing. Great positioning here from Spicuza. Great stamina. Yeah, well, just like we said before, he's a grinder and he showed it here. Yeah. Get ready. Uh huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.